Hey guys, I've got a really fun video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Lego Hype on alternative build. If you don't know what alternative builds are, it's basically where you buy an official Lego Hype on a set and using those parts only in that set, you can build something else, which may even be better than the original set. Starting off with the University of Cambrics. Yes, this University of Cambrics set is an alternative build using the parts only from the 2018 Hogwarts Castle set and two base plates, I believe. The cost to build this model would be about 415 US dollars, 400 dollars for the Hogwarts set and about 15 dollars in the two base plates. In my opinion this model looks absolutely fantastic, there is numerous rooms and unlike the micro scale Hogwarts castle, it's not micro scale, it's minifig scale. You would definitely want to be buying some minifigures to populate this model and there's no better place to buy some Lego hype on minifigures than my upcoming whatnot stream on November the 18th, links below. Next up we have an alternative build to the 2021 Art Mosaic set. The LEGO High Product Art Mosaic set gave you the parts to build four different house badges. Or if you buy this set four times like I did and spend around $500, you could build the big Hogwarts crest. Definitely wasn't worth the $500 by the way. But what is worth the money in my opinion are these alternative builds. You just have to buy one of these sets and you can build any of these variations using the pieces only provided in that set. Now this set retailed for $125 dollars but unfortunately it's now retired so you're looking to pay more like $150 on the aftermarket today. I personally really love the Hedwig one and the best part is the instructions to this model are completely free. I'll leave a link to these models and all the other models I talk about in this video down in the description below. Definitely worth checking them out, they are fantastic. By the way guys we're really close to 10,000 subscribers, I can't believe how quickly we've gotten to 9,000. Thank you to everybody who subscribed already, we are really close to 10,000 subscribers, thank you. Next up we have a really fun set and it's this mech. It's the Fluffy Raider, it's called. I think this is really, really cool, especially considering mechs are quite popular at the moment. So if you really want to build this model, unfortunately, you're going to have to buy two LEGO High Potter sets, but thankfully, they're quite cheap. You buy the 2021 Polyjuice Potion Mistake, which you can get on sale for $15. The retail price is only $20 on this set. And then you want to get the 2021 Fluffy's Encounter set, which costs about $40. The next alternative build is a two-in-one. And this is where you buy one set and you can build two different models. So if you get the Hogsmeade Village set which retails for $80 but you can get on sale easily for $60, $70, you can build the Winter Inn and also the Lighthouse. The Winter Inn uses the pieces from the Free Broomsticks which was a building in the official set and I think this looks really really cool but my personal favourite is the Lighthouse which uses the pieces from Honey Dukes. I'm actually really tempted to buy another Hogsmeade Village set just so I can make these two models and I'll probably put them in my Hogsmeade Village mock. If you'd like to see my Hogsmeade mock in a video then make sure to let me know down in the comment section. The final model in this video might be my favourite alternative build and this is the LEGO High Product Asian Venice. Now to build this model you're going to have to own the Chamber of Secrets set from 2021 and unfortunately as you guys know that's quite an expensive set. It costs roughly $130, $140 but you can get it on sale from time to time at around $100. I really love this model because the architecture takes inspiration from both Venice and Asian culture and you can really see that throughout the model. Just looking at the set and all the details I really appreciate how they've taken a set which has got nothing to do with Asia or Venice and used those pieces in a completely different style. Unlike other models on this list where they've sort of kept the same sort of aesthetic this has gone in a completely different direction and that takes a talented builder to accomplish. And the same has to be said about that fluffy mech. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out everyone's builds linked in the description down below. I've been Top of Bricks. I'll catch you tomorrow for another Lego video. I'll see you there.